On today's episode of Why Hot Girls Pick the Medium Guys. We choose them for many reasons, but here are the reasons. They treat us like queens. They're not broke, not cheap. There's a difference. They are number one fans, main supporters. We don't have to fight for attention because the attention's always on us. We don't want our boyfriends to take it away from us. They're always nice. They're always cute. Like, hot guys are just for stories, not for dating. Stories. It's too much work to date a really hot guy. Like, not only are people looking at him and they're looking at you, but they're looking what to do with you guys. I can't do I can't. You're not only competing with girls looking at him or trying to get with him, you're competing with guys. Us, if I need that in my life. No, thank you. And did I say <laughs> broke? <laughs> He'll be at the bar waiting for you to get him a drink. Like, <sighs> and to put lip gloss on him. No. Yo, yo, what's good? Another day back in office, man. I'll probably do some most like, yeah. Make sure you guys give your like to Lauren Saber. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. I'm trying to grow a lot. Let's hop straight into it, man. As y'all can see in that video, she says hot guys are for stories. Why? When the woman basically explaining why beautiful women date medium ugly guys and they avoid attractive guys. Now, listen, man, when I watch this video, y'all, this is my exact reaction. I couldn't believe that. A chick literally said word for word, bar for bar, exactly what I knew, exactly what I have been seeing throughout relationships in the streets, throughout of just what I have been coming, just throughout of what I finally drawed up my hypothesis and, you know, my final statement on. And um, I just had to do that reaction because. This is the most blatant I ever seen a chick expose how this stuff really is. And I know you when you guys heard that, y'all was like, wow, did she really just say that? Like, normally chicks will tell you, they will tell you surface level stuff. And, you know, it'll be enough information. But just completely letting it all out like that, man, is rare. But um, listen, man. I want y'all to, uh, well, to really understand some. She has exposed them all. This is how these beautiful women think, guys. This is why these beautiful women will not be with attractive guys. And don't get me wrong, man. I want a beautiful woman. I know you guys want a beautiful woman. I know guys out there with six-pack abs, with good-looking faces, with nice, decent bank accounts. We want attractive women. But the thing is, this is how a lot of them think. And she has exposed them all. And so, guys, you must understand, man, the medium ugly guy will pedestalize her. She wants a fan, guys. I want you to understand something. They quote her saying, treat her like a fan. She'll treat you like a, you know, treat her, pedestalize her or whatever. And um, treat her like a celebrity. She'll treat you like a fan. You know, that's what's going on here. That's why she said, you know, they're your biggest fan. Guys, you must understand some. Those guys who are unattractive, those guys who are medium ugly, whatever they want to call it. See, medium ugly is just a a nice term for oh, he's ugly. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just a medium. That, 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 that's just a nice term for it. It's like saying it's like me telling the girl, you know, I normally do it in the nighttime, but you know what? We on Arkham Asylum hours now. It's the same. You know what I'm saying? You're a booty call. That's what that's what I'm basically saying. But let me tell you something, man. Those guys are their biggest fans. They will pedestalize them to the T. And um, you're gonna notice that when a when a beautiful woman is with a guy that looks less than, he's pedestalizing her, guys. He's doing a lot of things that's fan behavior. You know what I'm saying? He's doing a lot of things that's fan behavior. And you have to understand something. Those guys are willing to do whatever it takes to keep her. You know, they're willing to act like they're fans to her to keep her, guys. I see it all the time. I know a couple right now, right now, guys, right now where the girl is way more attractive than the dude. Way more attractive than the dude. And when I say this dude is literally her biggest fan, he's literally her biggest fan. And she knows she has power of him, guys. Anybody can see it. 
And they know that that unattractive guy, that medium ugly guy is going to compensate by doing that. But that attractive guy is not going to be your biggest fan. He's not going to sit here and chase after you and do all that type of stuff because that's what you're going to be doing to him. That attractive guy is not going to be putting you on a pedestal and making it seem like you're so much better than him and making it seem like you're just a celebrity to this world when you're nothing but somebody who done padded up a lot of damn makeup over your face. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how they be doing. They get up and they be like, they just get to smash in their damn face. And they don't even be mean to putting the makeup on. But they know that guy's going to compensate. That attractive guy, he ain't doing none of that compensating. He ain't doing none of that. And so these beautiful women don't like that. These beautiful women are used to being put on that type of pedestal, guys. They are so, listen, they, they, they just full of themselves, guys. And it don't even be worth it. It don't even be worth it, guys. I'm telling you, it don't even be worth it. Next, man, is that they, y'all got to realize something. They are saying, beautiful women going to be like, oh, you attractive guys, you pretty boys are broke, y'all broke. Y'all notice that these women always typically say that good looking men are broke, good looking men are broke, good looking men are broke. They are always saying that, guys. The reason why they are saying that is because hot guys, attractive guys, whatever you want to call it, they don't lead with their wallets. They lead with raw sex appeal and the handsomeness of their face. That's what they lead with. And the internal man within them, their stoic traits, they don't lead with money. That unattractive guy, that medium ugly guy, he's going to lead with his wallet, guys. You have to understand this, man. You have to understand this. That medium ugly guy is going to do whatever it takes. Like I just told you guys, he's going to leave with that money. He's going to leave with it. A lot of chicks that you think are not getting money from these dudes, a lot of, I'm telling y'all, they are doing it. That's why they're shaming guys with raw sex appeal that look real good. That's why they're shaming them because they know, tractor guys know they don't have to use their money. They don't have to use their wallet to get the likeness of a woman, to get the cooperation of a woman. Don't have to do that. And these women hate the fact that attractive guys understand that that's why they're like uh, nah i don't want them next man is they want all the attention they know the medium ugly guy is not going to be getting no attention from women like that when they with them the woman wants all of the bros she wants all of the bros on her she wants the bros to be choosing on her she wants all these men to be choosing on her and to be looking at her and she's getting all this attention and validation and she knows that ultimately that's going to make that medium ugly guy insecure. And that inse and once he gets insecure, he's going to start to chase even more. It's all a power play, guys. You got to understand this. This is real life dating games. This is what goes on. This is why you will be wondering, man, I'm, I'm content with the sixes and sevens I get. But I want that beautiful woman, but she just won't give me the time of day. Guys, I'm telling you, this is why. Stop believing BS that you hear on channels. Guys, this is why. Unless you're in a place like Miami or something or Cali, you know what I'm saying? But if you're in a, a normal place, man, you know what I'm saying? Texas, you can kind of, Texas is an if and that, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, man, in, in most of these other places, these chicks, these beautiful chicks act this way when they, when they, when the shoes on the other foot, man. Y'all got to realize, they want all the dudes choosing on them. They want all the male attention, all the male validation. They want the spotlight. They don't want you in that light at all. They want to be the one that's, oh, how did he get with her? How did he get with her? That's what they want. And the big myth that you're going to hear, oh, having a good-looking woman make you more attractive. It does, but guess what? To an extent. It does. Don't get me wrong. You'll get chicks, but it does that to an extent. When you attract a guy and you got an attractive chick, it's over with. But they know that the attractive guy, they go out with them. Now the chick's choosing on them. Now the chick's looking at them. And the attractive guy sees she's getting attention too. But the attractive guy is not reacting. He's content. He's secure within himself. And she doesn't like that. She wants you to be a little insecure, a little on the heels. You know what I'm saying? When y'all are out. But... Now she knows she, she can't control herself like you can. They're not designed to control. They're, they're not designed to be in control of themselves. They're not. They just not. 
So now they're with you and they're going crazy. They're going insane because they see all these women choosing on you. They see all these women looking at you. I'm telling you right now, these beautiful women are not used to not being in the spotlight. They're not used to being with a man that's getting all this attention. I'm telling you this, guys. This is real game. They do not want that, man. They want all their bros to be choosing on them, but they don't want all them hoes on you. And they know the attractive guys going to have the hoes choosing. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that. That medium ugly guy, he's going to be so insecure because he sees the amount of attention this woman is getting. It's going to make him chase more. It's going to make him feel like he got a diamond in the rough because he's not getting attention. He's not getting none of that. Oh, how did you get her, bro? How did you get her, bro? Translation, dude, you really don't even post to have, bro. You chasing her ass. You see what I'm saying? Next, guys, and last is, guys, you must understand something. Hot guys are for stories. When she said that, I said, you know what? The underdog strikes again. Love it or hate it, the underdog is on top. Who have been telling you guys constantly? Who have been telling you guys that truth, you say? The underdog. I've been telling y'all this on a consistent basis. These beautiful women look at you as fun. The women that you really want as an attractive guy, they look at you as fun. They offer stories stories guys after i started dealing with chick after chick i started to realize these chicks don't do nothing but look at me as fun it's always the ones that i want that don't be want nothing serious with me i'm telling you guys hot guys are for stories stories equals fun you gotta realize something as an attractive guy you scare them long term you scare them you got to realize something. When you are attractive and you are well put together, a beautiful woman knows she can't lack. No matter how long you guys are together, she can't lack. You're going to keep going to the gym. You're going to keep making more money. You're going to keep working on your face. You're going to keep your hair cut. You're going to keep your hygiene on point. You're not going to lack anything. That medium ugly guy, guess what he's going to do? He's going to be buying for her nails. He's going to, I said buying for her. He's going to be paying for her nails, paying for her hair. You know what I'm saying? Paying for everything that has to do with her looking better. He's going to be doing that and not paying for himself. I want you guys to understand that. You have to realize that women are only comfortable with less attractive guys in relationships. The bottom line. Unless that woman is a five or a seven, five through a seven. If she's eight, nine, and ten and that up, upper class looking women. I'm telling you guys right now, she's not comfortable with a man who's attractive. She's only comfortable with unattractive guys, with less attractive men. This is the game right here, man. I'm telling y'all this. If you guys enjoyed this video, y'all found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.